was restoration. So we pretty much lost everything in Powell Mountain and then spent the last seven years trying to get back on our feet again. And we have, praise God. And I've been just back doing my business stuff, selling things and uh, just acting like a regular business person. And we are working still in that area. I have a good friend of mine that we hope to work for here in the next couple weeks, uh, helping him build his business. It's a beautiful business. And that will also coincide with us getting more involved with outreach. Due to the fact that our political landscape has changed greatly, uh, the election of Donald Trump 2016 and what has happened since he's been president has inspired many people who are what we would call the remnant, people who love the Lord but are not in organized religion, churches, you know, as pastors, deacons, serving those kind of capacities, the people that have a heart for God but are trying to figure out how to impact the world. These folks are starting to come out and get back engaged more publicly. And I believe this is exactly what the Holy Spirit is leading us to do. We are in a window of opportunity. We have a man in the White House that, from all uh, reports, is praying, a man who prays to the living God, Jehovah, for God's people to wake up and to take back this country, uh, to reins reinstitute God's commandments. What is that? The golden rule, uh, the family, a husband and wife, uh, raising children, the fear of the Lord, people taking care of each other, doing the right thing. The golden rule being that you do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Um, ethics, you know, weights and measures being accurate, uh, bribery put away. Uh, lying, cheating, stealing, all has to go away so that our children, and we have eight, obviously, we care deeply about their future. And we know the future will be great if we get rid of all the corruption, whether it's D.C. corruption, state level corruption, law enforcement corruption, local corruption. God, it, we're in a mode now where God is on the march and he is opening up doors for law enforcement, good law enforcement, to go in and deal with evil people. So as we come to this place, I feel that the Lord is trying to get all of us that have a voice, that have done any kind of work, to get out and actually promote what God is doing, the gospel of the kingdom of God, which is to invade the earth. We are the ones that are going to get the earth in the end. We are the meek that will inherit the earth. And so our job right now is to act like we own the earth, not like the people that are currently uh, running the earth, uh, trying to steal from the people. But we come to occupy the earth for good, to bless the earth, to take care of the earth, to teach people how to do things with their hands productively, to help people start businesses, to help people start uh, organizations that promote training and skills that are needed, uh, to support a better public education system where God is allowed back in and where science is about God's creation of the earth and where history is God's history, because it is his story and where we promote political activism that is with the right people. Not the ones who feel entitled, but the people who are willing to lay their lives down for the good of their neighbors. This is our situation right now, and this is where we're at. And this nation has this very narrow window where we can take back we did this thing years ago called Taking Back the Streets for Jesus. Well, the idea is it is ours already. It belongs to Jesus. Jesus is coming back soon. and He's going to take back his streets. Well, we, as his servants, are acting as his vice regents, and we are working in concert with heaven, and we're taking back the land. It was robbed. Poachers came in and 
during the night season, they carted away the resources of the land. They took over the institutions that dominate the land, um, like we just discussed, the educational system, the court system, the, the political arena, businesses, and that has caused everything to get out of kilter. And what's going to happen here, what the Lord is showing me, is that the people that currently right now are operating on the underside of society that are hidden away, his servants, there's going to be a turning over, going back to where God's people are put into position. You remember the story of David. He was out shepherding the sheep. He was not considered to be king material. But when Israel was needing to go in a brand new direction, away from Saul, who was a covetous man, a man who loved material things versus godly things, things pertaining to heaven, who really didn't love God with his whole heart. God chose a king for himself that had a heart that beat solely for him. And he chose the youngest of eight sons, a man named David, who was tending his father's sheep. And that spirit of a shepherd loving the sheep is what God took and molded over the course of many years and made the greatest king that Israel's ever had. That's where we're at. There's a transition of government in the church and in society, and we are now having to step up those people that have been in the fire, as we like to say, the refining fire of God. We are now having to step up and enter into our original mandate. Many of us 10, 20 years ago got a call, and we were all excited. And we got out there and we started doing stuff like we did with the, at the public cafe. But we ran out of money or we ran into opposition and the door closed. And then we struggled to come out of all the things that happened to us because we were public. And my contention is, is that the only way we take back the earth is by preaching the gospel of the kingdom publicly. You can't own something public unless you're public about your, your message. You can hide, we can all hide away in our little closets where we have our us for no more, but nothing's gonna happen. We'll just be frustrated watching what's going on in the world. The only way the world is gonna have good news versus always bad news and all this um, chaos in the streets that we're seeing with a youth completely deranged with their love of material things, they're believing in lies, they are falling for all this hype about the climate, it's a new religion, it's all tied to ancient religions, uh, worshiping Mother Earth, pantheism, it's just, it's all the same stuff we cooked. We can see it, those of us, the remnant, the leaders that have to go back out and, and wake back up and get back in service of the Most High God, we have to get back out and we need to re-engage our world where God has put us, lo the location, the locality that we have put our feet, our physical feet on the soil that God has placed us there. That's where we are to do our work. For some, it's a college campus. For others, it may be a church that's going through a tremendous time of transition and they need people to step into the gap. There may be a gap in intercessory prayer requirements that God wants people to start a, a prayer uh, movement where people start to pray hard about the community and about, about prosperity for, for a broken community or the, the stronghold of, 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 of things that we know are evil that are going on, child trafficking and, and some of the illegal drug uh, activity and people getting hooked on these horrible drugs and dying while they're still a teenager. These things can be broken by the prayer of the righteous. And these are things that we have to take authority as God's children and as his sons and daughters, kings and queens, princes and princesses, prince and princesses, we have to take back the land. And that's the message that God has laid on my heart, September 24th, 2019. The very things that we were trying to do in 2008, 2007, we have to get back. 
not just me, but those of you who were similar in your calling, those of you who now may have may be in hiding, we have to get back and get back into doing the things that we were called to do. That's all I have to share. Just letting you know that there'll be more coming later on, hopefully, as the Spirit leads, uh, the Lord give me opportunity to share some of my heart with uh, with you all. So God be with you and